happy St. Patrick's Day. I've been wearing green all month. Hey vapors, welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are going to take a look at Elic Cube E-Liquid. <laughs> Alright guys, yes, today I am looking at Elic Cube E-Liquid. I have 10 flavors here to try. I'm not trying all 10. I'm gonna pick what I think might sound the best to me, but I'll tell you all 10 of the flavors. These are available in 30 ml bottles for $15 or 120 milliliter bottles for $45. They are a 60% vegetable glycerin and 40% propylene glycol blend, available in 0, 1.5, 3, 6, 12, 18, and 24 milligrams nicotine. So the 10 flavors I have here are Eureka, oops, <laughs> Straw Waffle, H2O Melon, a watermelon, Exotic Coconut, Half and Half, Dr. Cherry, Melon Ball, Blueberry Donut, Pink Starburst, and Lemon Cake. Ooh, okay. Lemon Cake, mm-hmm. Pink Starburst, yes. Blueberry Donut, yes. And what else? What else what sounded good? Oh, and straw waffle, yes. So these are the flavors I'm going to try. Here's the label art. It is similar for all of the flavors, just the name changes. I'm trying these flavors out on my Troll RDA as per usual, but if you don't have an RDA and you want a flavor test without committing to an entire tank full of e-liquid, you can always invest in these 510 dripping atomizer barrels. They're super cheap and easy to use. You put a couple drops of the e-liquid down in there, you put a drip tip on top, and you get a couple puffs of the flavor. I used to use these all the time in my flavor testing videos. So I'll leave a link below if you want to check those out for yourself. So first up is Strawfle. Strawfle. It's straw, F-F-L-E, so Strawfle. And it's strawberry waffle, if you couldn't tell. Let's give it a sniff. Ooh. Mmm, I smell the strawberry, the waffle, and the syrup. Hmm. <laughs> the flavor's good. For being a higher VG e-liquid, there's a little bit more of a throat hit than I would like. But I can taste the strawberry and the syrup in the waffle part, but um, I can't ignore like, it's kind of an intense throat hit and I know there are only at three milligrams nicotine and I know I can handle three. It must be the type of nicotine that they use. Let me try again. Goodness. Gracious, whew. the flavor is good, but I can't, <clears throat> I can't get past that uh, throat hit. Um, so this might be a very short video because I'm gonna go through these a little bit quicker than I would have hoped. So flavor is good. I can taste the strawberry and the waffle and the syrup is really yummy. Actually, it's a pretty good waffle flavor, but I, I just, I can't. I'm not gonna sit here and like force myself to continue to vape something that's gonna, you know, bother my throat. I mean, sorry, I can't really do three milligrams. I mean, it can, it just gotta be, it's gotta be whatever nicotine that they are using that is bothering me personally. Which doesn't mean it's gonna bother everybody else, just me personally as an individual, it is bothersome. So next we have blueberry donut. Ooh, smells a lot like blueberries and like a blueberry glaze. Here's hoping this one's a little bit less throat hitty. It's not, <laughs> it's not, it's worse. Um, wow. So as far as the flavor goes, it's a yummy blueberry flavor. I'm getting more like um, thick, like syrupy blueberry. The donut flavor is really minute in that first little vape that I took. But I'm not sure I can vape this e good personally because of how much of a throat hit. Like, it's, <clears throat> it's pretty intense. Like, I can take baby vapes and it's okay. And you know what? That one, still with that vape, I'm not picking up much donut. Maybe, like, a tiny little hint of, like, bready, crumbly flavor. But mainly, it's just sickly sweet blueberry syrupy. Next I'm going to try pink starburst and it definitely smells like pink starburst. 
See, this flavor was definitely less of a throat hit than both of those. Like, but it's still there. There's still that throat tickle. And it's definitely like a hard pink Starburst flavor. And I say hard because Starburst are kind of chewy and this gives me more hard candy vibes. It's not bad. It's definitely the easiest out of those three to vape. And I'm really sorry that I can't dive down more into the description of these e-liquids. I just, I can't, I can't force myself to do it. Like, I, <laughs> it's bothering my throat a little too much and I just edited it out like a huge coughing spasm that I had. <laughs> so, my nose is running. So I saved the one that I think that would taste the best for me for last, hoping uh, that there's not a really bad throat hit. This is a lemon cake flavor. And I'm just smelling lots of lemon. <laughs> this one's not as bad. Definitely the blueberry donut was the most throat hitty one. Definitely tasting a lots of lemon. This one has a little bit more of a cake vibe to it, but again, it's mainly just the fruit flavor that I taste, like with the blueberry donut one. This I taste mainly just lemon, but there is kind of like an under hint of maybe bread in there, like a bready. I can't say cakey because I know what lemon cake is supposed to taste like, but that's one of my that's my favorite flavor in the whole vaping world. Um, again, I am so sorry that I couldn't dive down more with these e-liquids and just because it's too throat hitty for me doesn't mean it's going to be too throat hitty for everybody. I would like to hear from anyone who's tried these e-liquids down below in the comments what you thought of the e-liquid. That would be great. And I'm not trying to say these e-liquids are bad. I'm just saying I can't personally vape with that type of throat hit. And it may be due to the type of nicotine that they use. Also what plays a factor is that I do vape 1.5 or 0. Most of the time I'm only ever vaping 3 or higher when I'm doing these videos depending on what the e they sent me. Because I have e-liquid that I've had for a long time and a long time ago I vaped 3. And so when any a company approached me for a e-liquid video I would say please send 3 milligrams just like I used to vape 6. So I prob- well maybe not have any. I probably don't have any sixes left in my shelf of e-liquid, but that's what I received from the company, so that's what I have to vape for their videos. Um, I can usually do three milligrams still, just, you know, for the sake of videos, but um, I, couldn't, I couldn't do it today, and I'm really sorry, and I hope you guys are okay with that, but maybe anyone out there who is sensitive to, like, not the highest quality nicotines Maybe this is a company that would be throat hitty for you as well. I don't know. That's my short, sweet little video for Elite Cube. Um, the strawberry waffle flavor is definitely the best one out of the four that I just tried. And if I got them in zero, I think that that flavor would have been miraculous for me. Like that, was, it had really good flavor behind the throat hit that I couldn't take. <laughs> so. That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed regardless. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Give it a thumbs up for strawberry waffle flavors. Yum. Feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos and turn on the little bell notifications if you don't want to miss any of the videos I usually upload daily. And being a subscriber doesn't mean you're going to always see every single video I upload. That's just the way it is right now. And check the description box below this video for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat. Those social media links will be below as well. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining Casa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia. I hope everyone has a fun and safe St. Patrick's Day if you are celebrating it. And thank you so much for watching.